Welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips. Today it's about spark plugs. This is your average spark plug design. This is where it threads into your cylinder head. You may have a uh, larger size hex here to actually seat the spark plug. You may have this compression ring or you may have a tapered seat. This is your center electrode that your plug, spark plug wire would connect to. This is your porcelain isolator. That center electrode comes all the way through to here where it then has to jump a gap to the side terminal and this gap is where the spark occurs that actually ignites your air and fuel mixture in the cylinder. Now spark plugs come in a box like this. This isn't necessarily the box for this one but they just come shipped loose in a box. They're not handled very gently. They're not that fragile but they are fragile. This is porcelain. When I get spark plugs out of the box one of the first things I do is turn it upside down. Now the reason I turn spark plugs upside down when I get them out of the box is because of this. Here it is. Normal center electrode, side electrode, turn upside down. Anybody see what happened? The center electrode is actually broken in here. I don't know if it was from shipping or manufacture or what, but the center electrode and the porcelain are both broken. Now creates a dead short inside your cylinder. So you get out of the box maybe and you don't turn it upside down, you put it in the car and when you put it in the car, it does that, you've got a dead short. You pull it back out, you look at it and you go, huh, well you know there's nothing wrong with it because there's a gap again. Turn it upside down, put it back in the car, there's your dead short again. So today's tip is when you get spark plugs out of the box, always turn them upside down and make sure that after you do that, they still look like this and not this. That's going to do it for a day. We'll see you next time.